Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want a personal reading, there's links in the description box below. I'm going to take a look at the rest of August, see what's coming up here for you. All right, we've got some cards jumping. Okay, you've got healthy choices, making healthy choices in your life, Virgo. Beautiful. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Nice. You have the sword and the rose. There's clarity, truth, resolution, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So this is beautiful, Virgo. I think that you know what you need to do now. This is what I'm hearing. You also have talking, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, and maybe some hoovering is happening. Okay, so some of you might be having some conversations or talking with someone new. Um, it could be a romantic partner, could be friends talking over like online. Uh, it could be with friends, could be talking with a therapist. <laughs> um, you might have, uh, you might be listening, someone talking to you like what I'm doing right here. Um, and in the middle of that, whoever you're talking to, there's someone is kind of stuck. Well, it's hoovering. So if you don't know the, the term hoovering, it's kind of like um, someone who's in your periphery, whom is while you're making healthy choices and coming to some truth and clarity, having some revelations in August um, and solidarity is just pretty much, you know, keeping to yourself and doing whatever you're doing. Um, maybe you're talking to others or maybe you're dating um there is a message that comes in from someone right and we do have someone who is showing up here with the nine of wands so this person hmm this is a wounded warrior this is someone their energy could be a fire sign but their energy of this person is there's a bit of hesitation some boundaries somebody put up some boundaries and but now there's this kind of like questioning whether they should have or not okay this fire energy i feel like somebody wants something new they're they're somebody's coming in here i feel like it's whoever is hoovering or watching um they get some kind of passion somebody gets some kind of passion for you look at all this all these wands wow virgo um they get this lustful thing for you happening here and want a new start with you they're actually uh, okay just gonna say because hey it's this channel and this is what we do somebody's turned on somebody's turned on okay whatever so they're two of wands yeah there's somebody here is um making a choice or making some kind of choice or decision let's see here could have something to do with travel as well but this really feels to me like um <clears throat> somebody's hoovering you on like so when i say the word hoover i mean i don't know if they're stalking but they're they're kind of like they're in your they're around you in some way in august let me give you like the complete because Hoovering does come from, it stems from the old Hoover vacuum cleaner, <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> okay, it's a, it's a behavior that aims to pull someone back into a relationship. Okay, um, so I feel like, <clears throat> although it is, it can be someone who is manipulating to try to pull you back into a relationship with them whether it was an unhealthy relationship or not, because it looks like it might've been and you're making some healthy choices now and it looks like you're choosing yourself, like self-love, right? Self-care. Okay. This is someone who fears that you are getting away from them. So they might love bomb. They might pretend there's a crisis. Um, yeah, this is, this is an energy of, um, and I feel like because that person was sitting there with that laptop there, it could be like on the, on a computer. Okay. Tell Virgo more about this. 
what is going on here because I feel like when I look at that nine of wands I feel like this person is suspicious there's a sus you know what I mean I mean so when I do the cards right I mean I always look at the illustration on the faces try to detect like the body language and see what that feels like there is this kind of like like some time maybe maybe there's uh, eight weeks eight months have gone by eight days or nine eight or nine but somebody here so hmm I feel like there's this like what are you doing they're they're kind of like what are you you push me away why and like what who are you talking to who are you being with what's going on with you somebody does not know something that's going on with you okay so there's a reach out yes there's a text there's a call there's an email whatever there's a reach out from someone here now what are they okay yeah so they're gonna reach out to you um and it's gonna be like how could I say this it it's it's gonna be more along the lines of like what are you up to what have you been up to how, I feel like they're maybe trying to get information but they are trying to plant some seeds yeah so it's a very mild communication from someone here I miss you could be a, a small little apology just dropping a, just wanted to reach out and say I'm sorry <laughs> right from someone it could be it could also be a birthday a little birthday happy birthday kind of thing sweet innocent nothing behind it right at least that's how they put it out there that there's nothing it's not like you know but it's a, it could be a little bit of breadcrumbing as well i just yeah i feel like somebody's gonna try and as i like to say drop a couple pennies or drop a couple coins in your coin slot here just to give you a little something hmm Ooh, yeah, this person is very insecure. They have a very insecure attachment. Um, they could be someone who is, as far as attachment styles go, I'm feeling like insecure attachment would be someone who is either dismissive avoidant type of person or they are very anxious, uh, preoccupied with you, or they are someone who is like a fearful avoidant, like they're fearful avoidance are typical of like mixed feelings, mixed messages. Anxious people can be like very clingy um, people pleasers. If they get hurt, then they run away, but only momentarily or they start fights. And the dismissive is just, so may, uh, dismissive is more like someone who's just, they're very independent and they, they don't commit, you know? So whomever, it's insecurity. And there's some kind of mental thing going on here with this person, you know. Um, and there's a little bit of um, victim kind of like, oh, I'm really hurt. Um, or uh, something happened, whatever happened, I'm really hurt by that. I'm, or I just feel lost without you. You're moving on. I, I sense that you're moving on. Somebody here is sensing, right? Because they can't really see. They can't hear they're relying on i don't know smells like teen spirit i don't know their mouth is there but there's this sense i feel okay so this person they're trying to heal something here within them and they also sense that you're healing and you're making healthy choices you're recovering that four of swords is always after a breakup you know where there's this retreat they're sensing that you're retreating you're in solitude again like i said the solidarity with yourself you're 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 in recovery you're resting whatever you're doing um they're sensing that you are gone um and they're curious there's a sense of curiosity right so here they come hmm they're going to cut off anybody else that they've been involved with for sure hardcore this is how they operate they can be very you know hardcore or they're coming back after cutting you off okay facing the fear but they're not really facing their fear it's the fear that's driving them do you understand i feel like this person might be very i don't know anxious 
and if if the nine of swords shows up that will definitely confirm it um but i do feel like they're coming back to unblock or re reconcile with you they're they're kind of doing this whole six of swords thing where it's like you know i gotta i gotta like relocate or move towards virgo or i gotta like make this transition you know and the transition is cut everybody else off right the ace of cups again it's a potential it starts it's it's kind of if you've been involved with this person um in the past but now you're making better choices you have some clarity things are being revealed to you and you're making the decision to choose yourself oops <laughs> making this decision to choose yourself uh, and opening yourself up more, talking to more people, a weighted message, I don't know, have you been waiting to hear from somebody, like an apology or talk to somebody? Um, you know, whether they're hoovering you or watching you, which I kind of feel like they are, they are going to come in and try to talk to you, all right, and uh, try to have a new love start with you. Now let's take a look at you, Virgo, and see what's going on with you. Okay, wow, you got the tower. You burned some kind of house down, Virgo, or you are in August. You're just, you're rebuilding. You're scrapping the old and learning some new things here in your life, like picking up some new skills, right? That you had a tower moment or you gave a tower moment or you are doing this, okay? The tower is kind of like when we demol demolition a building, we just knock that effort down and then we, then we have just clear, flat, we excavate we're rebuilding this is what you're doing you're rebuilding you're going back to the drawing board here virgo picking up them blueprints you're learning from others or another person you're you're or you're doing the self-help thing you're you're schooling yourself for change you're starting over here virgo and and uh, whoever the whoever it is that's hoovering you they didn't really show specifically there was no sign but whoever is hoovering you or is going to be reaching out to you or is going to message you like i said it comes it seems like it's kind of innocent but there's something more behind it and it has a lot to do with the fact that they're kind of looking at you you put up some kind of boundary um you put up some kind of block or some kind of you push back on something and you're moving on so you're, but you're moving on in 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 secret yes you're you're keeping yourself like you're trusting your gut in august you're yeah there you go you're not only loving yourself but you're um waiting for the perfect not the perfect i don't like to say well perfect love you're waiting for the perfect love right no none of us human beings are perfect but you're waiting patiently quietly while you're working on yourself to have that divine match with someone whomever it is. I don't see you really being focused on anyone in particular. You're making yourself a priority with the self-love in August um, because you really do want that beautiful love connection with someone where you're both a match, okay? And the Page of Swords here, hmm. So, in some ways you are kind of curious about who's going to be your lover or who's going to be uh with the love oh okay so they just said yeah the page of swords i feel that i'm get they're giving me like student vibes like virgo it feels to me even with the three of pentacles and the page of swords you're very curious and you're learning you must be doing some work some healing work you're learning how what a lot what what love what what that entails you know that you're learning about the sacrifice you're learning about um love uh, unconditional love I, I feel like even about yourself that page of swords really does give me a strong vibe that you are you're seeking answers when it comes to love true like agape love maybe even spiritual love you're seeking answers you're very curious you're seeking answers you're seeking truth 
And even with the high priestess, is a little bit of like going within too. Okay, so you have justice. I want you to know, I'm feeling with this justice card and the ten of the ten of wands that all the hard work and effort and all the labor you've put in in your past in your relationships you know the truth is going to come out you're going to come to understand some kind of truth and things are going to come back to you in a very positive way now does that mean that you know well yeah when one door shuts another a window opens yeah in a lot of ways but this could this doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to come in the form of a new lover it could mean like you're going to learn some truths about maybe you were too maybe you put so much effort into a relationship and it just fell apart maybe your part of you will be learning about how there needs to be balance and fairness and win-win justice and truth in relationships rather than you being the only one doing all the work okay so you might learn some things about yourself as well <clears throat> and you could currently be in a relationship with someone or talking to someone and learning as you go right so you know or that could be coming up for you in august as well so there's a lot of you know interesting things that are happening here in your life okay yeah virgo i mean i do see you have stability and commitment long term coming to you in your future maybe even in august but all of this or the majority of this seems to rest on your ability to self-reflect um to get and dig into that subconscious mind you know that undercurrent that's making all the decisions so your conscious mind is like a filter right your under your subconscious is really like all of the things it's the things that drive you and it's all of the things that have happened to you and your experiences throughout your life your beliefs your thoughts okay so they the, your subconscious mind um, pushes through to your conscious mind and your conscious mind is the one that filters whether your beliefs are true or not right so if you have a conviction in your subconscious that you don't even know about um, when when it starts to come to your your head your thoughts the first thing I feel like the I don't know why I'm talking about this but they're saying to tell you the first thing you need to do is ask yourself because it's your subconscious mind and then your conscious mind which is your thoughts and then come your feelings about those thoughts and then your actions i feel like your message here is when the thoughts pop up you need to ask yourself is this true what i'm thinking or is this coming from learned behavior in the past right which is why i always i guess preach to some degree about seeking evidence for things um but if you're that Virgo that's always seeking proof that you're not worthy, you're always going to find that. You're always going to find that. So it, I feel like you're doing a lot of self-reflection. You may be even trying to come to a better understand, understanding in regards to your traditional beliefs and your expectations, right? What, what I feel like you want is a stability in a relationship. Your expectation is to have stability um security and and also to become more secure within as well okay um and yeah i mean it's an if as far as if you're completely single and somebody's coming into your life i, I feel like spirit doesn't want to focus on that so much i feel like for you your focus is making healthier choices okay um being happier caring more for yourself putting yourself first in the sense of like healing it feels like a, a a strong healing energy all right and so in the meantime yes you know are you being someone who's being very avoidant you might be but you avoidance is usually a form of protection protecting the self so you might be at this time but you do have someone here who um is going to reach out to you while you're now also like it doesn't have to be a past person that's reaching out to you also it could be someone who 
um, you start talking to and they start reaching out and send. So there is a hoovering, which could be a past person from before, but there may also be someone that you could be talking to um, beginning in, well, through August where you're not, I don't feel like you're really all that available for anybody. Yeah, you might not be. You might be trying to, for some of you, reconcile um, an unhealthy relationship or behaviors or addictions or things within yourself. Uh, seeking forgiveness for that and healing. That's the judgment. Getting that clarity and making a decision in your life about how you want to move forward. Because you always have a choice. You're not stuck in anything. You don't have to... You can put your boundaries up any time. doesn't matter. It's never too late for that. If that, if you haven't done that before, if you have done that and you're sticking to it, you know, I feel like August is going to be a time for you where you have this like wake up call and clarity about this devil energy and not even just in others because we all have sin of some sort, but also how it's dictating your own personal life okay i feel like it's a cleanse you know look at everybody coming up out of the bath here these little pools um although they do kind of look like coffins but whatever i mean you know that that's what they say you know once we pass into the next life we get that cleanse we're cleansed of all of our sins you know some of you might be going down that route you know getting a spiritual bath even and, and trying to have, cleansing yourself of all the unhealthy things that you have accumulated over the years okay it's profound for you virgo it's really profound you know it really is and you know i i do feel like whoever the person is that's hoovering you they're coming back out of a sense of anxiety right obviously we didn't have the nine of swords show up but i do feel like with the eight of swords they're on the verge of the nine okay with their anxiety for sure I just feel like you're, yeah, really focusing on what you need to do. You know, you could be cleansing, cleaning up your diet. You could be cleaning up your getting more organized in your life or becoming more organized in your emotions and your feelings and your thoughts, putting things into categories, sifting through your ideas and your plans and where you've been and where you are and where you want to go. A lot of that energy is playing up here for you. I mean, what a birthday gift to give to yourself. So uh, you, some of you all have been already doing this and others of you are going to start doing this. So you're currently still going through this change. Okay. So at the end, you've done the work. Abundance will begin to flow to you now. Right? I feel like there's something here about education, which is why I saw the Three of Pentacles. There's a strong inclination towards educating yourself and learning. Okay, So time apart from someone brings clarity for sure. Yep, there, there, there's a, if you're in a situation now, or you have been, or it could be coming up, time apart is really going to... I'm hearing let let the dust settle let the there's an old saying about you know let the water you you can't figure it's hard it's not that you can't but it's difficult to see through a muddy pool you have to like leave the pool alone so that all of the mud just settles at the bottom and it begins to clear it's difficult to sort things out or try to stay as stable as you possibly can when you're in the middle of a war zone you might be some of you might be on the receiving end of somebody else's mental war that they're they're going through in their their head you know you might be like a bystander and you, you know you got some shrapnel you know so uh, some of you like time apart seems to be really important and for you to lean on your inner circle during this this separation or this time apart okay um let's see what else is coming up here Look at this, the same messages, retreat, time alone. And I feel like either you're already doing that or you're going to be doing that, just pulling your energy back. Uh, some of you could be starting to date someone else or just getting into a relationship, but I feel like the focus 
is on your healthy choices and so you have that abundance you're focusing um being very mindful and present to yourself and not reactive in any way you know there's there's a there's an energy here of peace and recharging yourself and that support like i was saying you could be talking to like maybe support groups or other people in your inner circle or adding people yeah it's safe to trust in what you're going through right now i feel like what is happening is what's meant to be happening right now I'm not really sure for what purpose i don't know if that means you and your person are going to come back together or not it could it could not, it might not you might get healed and realize it's you know some people think that they're loving or they love someone but it's really their anxiety you know or this codependency or this need to hold on there's a i, I just feel like things are going to start being revealed to you in august and you're really going to come to understand yourself or yourself better in august and yes there is someone uh like i, I could ask again and try to see who it might be if any court cards show up but there is not and it could be their sun moon rising or venus but there is someone who is they might have put a boundary up but now they're wondering what's going on with you I tell Virgo oh there you go there you go again back again so there's a water sign here when I was asking that could be Sun Moon rising or Venus um, no it did not fall out in the reverse I just threw it and it landed that way but I feel like that is close to the person right so I mean when I'm saying this they could be uh, a Taurus their sun sign or they could be a Sagittarius and have water in Venus okay um, or that could be their sun sign but either way it is what it is right it is what it is okay let me get a couple more messages here for you what else this oh okay so there's a bossy male here you or they you or another person going to be very significant in August okay you have reflect to reach victory so Virgo that's your card there go into your cave for a while you need to regroup and recollect a lot is going on you need some alone time stay in the stillness and the quiet but don't get lost there if you have to tell people you're taking a vacation or you're taking a break, you just need a recharge, that's what you need to do. And that is for yourself here so that you can be in a place of, I guess I just want to say success, really. To be in a place of accomplishment or, or uh, you know, like in school, you're learning some lessons so that you can graduate to the next level, okay, which is good. It's really good. Um, and, and also they're saying that there are people who um, I'm seeing around you who support you going into your cave and sorting things out. There's, there's, pe there's some people around you who are in support of your healing. And, and these would be your soul people. So in other words, if you, if it, you're not going to have, these people are not going to be PO'd if you don't want to meet up with them or if you're not feeling good you know or if you're just getting some rest or you're retreating these people this group or it could be one person they're like no that's fine if that's what you need to do to get yourself in a better place or to feel better or to figure things out or whatever if you're getting sober or having very sobering moments they support this they're going to support you and they're going to recognize and applaud you on making these healthier choices in your life yeah i love it positive vibes here go out in the sun virgo get some vitamin d play with your kids or grandkids go to a playground swim in the pool or the sea just try so as you're going through these shifts and changes and making healthier choices this might be them 
Okay, maybe you're choosing positive energy. Maybe you're choosing to do something fun and start to enjoy your life as you go through these shifts and changes. The energies are strong and powerful. All of the world is your play place. Just loving your life, right? Just loving your life. So it's an energy of like, kind of sitting where you are and saying you know what what where am i content it's like making that gratitude list what am i grateful for what things are really making me happy what you know what i mean even if you're not feeling your best i implore that you make that gratitude list where you're just kind of like you know what I, um, I'm happy I have food in my fridge. You can go all the way down to the basics. Like some people in here, I'm happy that I have pizza. That just totally makes me happy. And then be in that moment of happiness. The small things, the little things. That's your that's your positive vibe energy here, okay? Yeah, okay, so you do have a past person returning. Now, yes, the past returns. Could be, yes, you do, a past person, but could be reflecting on your past. The past might come up. The past is your subconscious as well. So the past kind of comes up too in a lot of ways. They're thinking about the past and reflecting on the past. And, um, you know, if something's over, thinking to yourself, okay, where did I go wrong in that? And, and in this new relationship, what can I do to not make that same mistake? Whatever that might be, you could be in the Eight of Swords where you're sabot self-sabotaging or imprisoning yourself, you know? So there's a lot of like, I don't know, maybe you're going to some kind of therapy or something. So the past, obviously when you go into therapy, you're gonna be talking about your past. That could resurface. Your subconscious stuff is gonna, as you heal, start coming up. It can also be at the same time, in the physical presence of a past person showing up, which we saw. Okay, let's get your overall message here. I feel like August is going to be very enlightening for you and good because of these healthy choices that you're making. What other message does Virgo have? Oh, okay. So, you have the Ace of Cups. Wow. Hold on can't hold these cards a beautiful new emotional experience is this the ace of cups yeah it's a one a beautiful new emotional experience a romantic relationship or deep friendship shows up awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights you receive a love letter there could be a new home as well You might be moving into town. We saw that yesterday, right? I pointed that out yesterday. Relocating or uh, a new home comes to you. What else do you have? Oh, the nine of pentacles. Wow. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoying your solitude. Yeah, Virgo. That, like... These messages are speaking to you. Somebody's birthday is on the 19th. Um, and 2019 was significant for someone as well. Okay, there you go. Six of Wands. You have victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, or scholarships are going to be revealed to you. Or will be given to you. And one more for Virgo. All right. And you have the Six of Pentacles. The good you do comes back to you. Yes, it does. Um, if you haven't done any good things lately, yeah, you know, what's the phrase? Um, you know, that's there's karma. That is a form of karma, I think. You know, if you if you do bad, if you do. I'm not getting into it. Just so you know, the good things that you do will come back to you. Just remember that. So always try to do good things. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt in August, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Even if you feel that you are in a position that you can't give, you actually, you can give. You can. Someone is either 66 or born in 1966. And now you have the Ace of Wands, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. Okay. 
I feel like for a lot of you, the action that you're taking here is choosing healthy things or healthier, healthier, making healthier choices. They just said get another. That's the action you're taking. Okay. And then you also have the eight of cups, the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing or have been experiencing. There's a spiritual quest, Virgo, choosing to make big life changes that you have a change in priorities. Some of you are leaving home or leaving a relationship once and for all, and you're done, right? Moving on, learning, recreating or creating new paths for yourself. Okay, let's see what the Chinese sign is. Virgo's Chinese sign. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, Year of the Horse. We have the Dog. You have the Ox. The Rat. You have the Snake. The Rabbit. The Tiger. And the Pig. Okay, so if your Chinese sign is not there, it does not mean it's not your reading. Keep that in mind. All right, let's get into, oh, I just want to get a couple of cosmic insights. Cosmic insights. Okay, you've got distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Well, I think we've already confirmed that. Nope, and you do have narcissists. Someone is too full of themselves. Okay. You know, I heard something the other day. Someone asked a question. They said, is it me? Am I the narcissist? I don't know. I don't think true narcissists care whether they are or not. And I think if you're asking that question, you're likely not. However, you might feel like you are if you've been involved with someone who's high on the narcissism spectrum. And what's that uh, called where you respond to the narcissist in ways that are maybe almost as cruel as they are? Uh, this is called reactive narcissism. So in other words, it, it doesn't give you a pass because you're trying to protect yourself. But the more you keep responding in reactive narcissism, the more unhealthy you're going to get. And with those types of people, you have to break away from them if, as much as you can, right? So if you're asking if you are the one that's the narcissist, I would say it's a no. I would say that you are responding to a narcissist by reacting in ways that they do. They cause you to do that on purpose because they like to, I mean, we could go into a whole long thing about this. Um, I don't even think narcissists really, they are it's so ingrained, their insecurities. You know, like earlier someone said to me, well, narcissists just love themselves. And I was like, no, they don't. They're the most insecure people on the planet. Because people who truly love themselves don't, they, they, they love others, you know, it, it, you can't love other people if you don't love yourself. It's just really hard. But when you really do love yourself, love begets love, okay? Hate begets hate. So narcissists do not, they give the appearance of loving themselves, or they may talk about how great they are. But it's all just really, they're trying to convince everyone because they, they have these deep, deep insecurities. But everybody has insecurities, and not everyone who's insecure is a narcissist. You know, I think the, the percentage of actual malignant narcissists is not as high as we think it is. I think we might just have a whole bunch of insecure, selfish people. And, and even the best of us at times can be that way, you know? So... Uh, unless you unless you actually have a diagnosis, you know it doesn't matter because at the end of the the day, all that matters is are you are you getting your needs met? Are you are, are you being abused? Are you feeling um, uncomfortable in a relationship with someone, whether it's a lover, family, friend, colleague, whatever? It doesn't matter what they are. What matters is what you are, and if you are not happy that relationship brings too much chaos then you have to leave it that's all that's all that matters you don't need a label one more okay trust your intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later so you know yeah some of you are definitely getting some red flags not only with certain people or a certain particular person but also within yourself 
and you might be kind of like, oh, I'm showing red flags myself. I need to fix, I need to fix the self, right? And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's healing. That's good. It's a good thing. Because if you are able to do that, then that, that tells me that you are someone that has a tremendous amount of empathy. You have compassion and empathy. People who can't self-reflect and then cry that no one loves them, those are people who don't have empathy. They just play the victim, right? They want everyone to have compassion and be empathetic towards them, but they don't give that in return, you know? So I feel like when someone says, you know, um, I have a lot of empathy for other people, but then they are not capable of showing it, but they're just saying it, then they're full of shit. You know what I mean? True empathy is, it, it's not people pleasing. True empathy is being able to feel something. That's really all it is. Cold empathy is more along the lines of like, I can see you're crying and I understand that you're sad, but I don't feel sad for you. That's cold empathy. Warm empathy is you're sad and I'm sad because you're sad. And I want to help make this so that we're not sad anymore. I want to I want to try to make you feel better. You know, so I don't know where we're going all with that, but your intuition <laughs> is something that you need to listen to. And if there's any areas in your life Virgo that you feel like you could be better, which every Virgo always wants to better themselves. I see you in August doing that work. I see you working on yourself. Now, I am not uh, an educated psychotherapist or anything like that so I just want to say um, research for yourself about some of those things I was talking about <laughs> right Re you know if you find if you're like no that's not exactly right tell me leave a comment okay so September 10th you have a Capricorn oh a Virgo Aquarius you have a Leo You have a Scorpio showing up here. Someone is 55, 56. Ooh, the Dow. Ooh, the Dow. Something's going on with the Dow right now. Uh-oh. Ooh. Stock market crash and all that. Be careful. Something significant going on with that. 1985, 1962, or age 62, 75. 70, 48, 41, and 44. Someone's name is Lynn or Len. September 15th, September 4th, July, significant month for Virgo. Uh, somebody's going to get a fax. <laughs> or just got a fax, or you're going to get a fax. And then we have Fox also. Someone's last name might be Fox, or you see a fox somewhere. Or um, some of you might see a deer. I don't know. We out in the wilderness, the forest. What's going on? LAX, significant. That airport. I guess that's what that means. So we have the 22nd. Someone's 32, 1988. December is also going to be very significant. September 9th, August 31st, August 27th. AI. AI. Very significant. For someone. Also, a Lanai. Lanai? Lanai? Lanai. Out on the Lanai? Isn't that like a... I don't know. I remember the Golden Girls used to say that. They lived in Florida. They were out on the Lanai. Is that what it was called? I guess it's like a porch or something. I don't know. I'll have to look that up later. Um, so we have F4. An F EF4, they're telling me. Tornado. EF4. Uh, in, um, they're saying Wisconsin, an EF4 in Wisconsin, coming, okay, someone says Ola, <laughs> Ola, um, and, um, there's something going on with an axe. 
Could be an X, but it's X. Like an X, chop chop. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Um, Lonnie. I'm hearing Lonnie. I keep getting Lynn. They're giving me the strong Lynn message. Okay. Not getting too much from that. Too much more from that. Let's get your charm. Okay. Got a white kitty now. Before you had a pink kitty. Now we have a white, white, beautiful kitten. Oh, we definitely have a heartbreak. There is some kind of a heartbreak here. Someone's missing their other half. Okay. And then we have, oh, looks like a moon with some roses in it. Quarter moon with some hearts and roses. Um, so there's a moon, moon love or love for the moon. You know what, you guys? I think we're in the Mercury retrograde now, aren't we? Yeah, that's why all this is going on. That's why all these, this is, yep, that makes sense. Now I understand. Mercury retrograde is in August 2024, and it started on August 5th, and it goes until the 28th. So this is why all this self-reflection, pulling back, people are like, whoa. There could be relationships, re it's a re-time, re-evaluation, retreating, um, reconfiguring. Renewing, recovering, a lot of that energy is happening here. All right, and you also have a key. Oh yeah, the key is significant. It's a symbol of being able to unlock some things, unlock some doors, unlock some new beginnings. Uh, keys, finding a key or a key appears symbolically to let you know that you have what it takes, you can unlock this door, or it's like the key shows up to say it's time to open something up here, or open up, or open up that Pandora's box within yourself, or go into your closet. Can also mean a key to a new home. Um, or a key to a new car. Somebody might have a key necklace or a key around their, their, maybe a charm or some jewelry. I'm just looking up to see if there's anything else. Yeah, so keys, like I said, a key to knowledge. Oh, they're saying look, wear a key charm when you're looking for a new job. And yeah, freedom, symbolizing freedom of making a choice and opening a door. Keys also represent feminine energy, agency, and feminine femininity. Yeah. Keys can also represent secrecy and discretion. Wow. So last but not least, you have a bicycle, okay? So I feel like this is getting back to bare roots. And cycling out of something into something new. There's just, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff I feel like is going to come up for you, Virgo, in, the, well, at least August during this Mercury retrograde. That's going to give you, you're going to have to work hard to propel yourself forward but it's kind of like somebody you know like the bike is here the key is here it's like all the tools will be given to you so that you can travel down this path so you can unlock and travel down this this road that you you're being whether you're choosing it or not it's coming it's happening for you to move forward okay now of course some of you could just have you might get a new bike or you might start riding your bike 
or you might decide you're going to start riding your bike again or you just want to like get out of the car and start riding your bike somewhere uh, some of you might have lost your license and all you got left is your bike and it's the only way to get around right um, some of you might be uh, like a bike messenger doing stuff on a bike like work you work uh, some connection to bikes or there might be a connection to motorcycles for some of you some kind of connection like that so okay I'm going to leave that there for you. I do hear a thunderstorm coming in, so I'm going to upload this video and hopefully it won't get, we won't get power outed here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. If you would like to get a personal reading, do check out my links. You can also get the timeless readings and there's also like Virgo with certain zodiacs. You can check those out as well. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, those readings are $11.11. You can donate check them out um and i am going to change some of those so that you can pay what you want right for just a limited time so um today is oh my gosh what is today august oh it's my mother's birthday today august 6th through the 13th um all of my gumroad readings and videos are going to be um i'm going to put them for two dollars that's what I'm going to do. Not pay what you want, but $2 because really cheap. So go over there. If you want to spend the two bucks, <laughs> go over and grab as many readings as you want. You can definitely check those out. And that will be for um, the week going forward. Okay, you guys, the, links, the link is in the description box below to check this out. All right. I love you. I'll see you all back here um, tomorrow. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye.